Hey Bulldog fans, Tristan Hobbs here for the Bryant Sports Network. We continue our spring season previews with the Bryant Women's Lacrosse team. I'm joined in studio by head coach Jill Batchelor and senior captain Carly Cronin. Coach, your team opens up in uh, mid-February. You've been at practice for about a week now. Uh, thoughts on how the teams look so far? Uh, I think the team looks really good so far. You know, I think we have a lot of depth, um, a lot of experience on the field. Um, our upperclassmen are playing really strong. Our freshmen are really stepping up. Um, so we're excited about the level that we've been playing. Your team returns a lot of players from last year's team. Uh, with this freshman group, how has that interaction gone for you? Mm -hmm. The seniors have done and the upperclassmen, seniors and juniors have done a really great job of bringing their experience and their talent level. Um, the sophomores always bring such energy and skill work and the freshmen are starting to get really comfortable in taking risks and comfortable with the upperclassmen you know, and playing together. Uh, Coach, your team has been to four straight NAC championship games in your time here, four years, four championship games. Uh, we talked last year about uh, the reputation of this program, what you want this program to stand for. Four years in, have you started to kind of, do you have a solid footing of what you want Brian Lacrosse to be? Yeah, I think, you know, even from the beginning, we've had such a understanding of who this program is and where this program wants to go. And I think this year you're really going to see us actually make those jumps. We have the experience levels in order to do it. We have the talent. We have the depth. And I'm, we have the schedule in order to support that. And I'm excited for us to be able to actually make those jumps. And you've now had two teams that have lost in the championship game. First time it happened uh, was a huge year. The next year you won your first championship. Do you expect the same kind of thing? Have you seen that drive from this, this year's team? Yeah, I think one of the things that is the best about this program is they attack challenges. You know, they take so much pride in this program and who we are and, you know, what they represent. And, you know, in the times that are the hardest, we really show our true colors. And I know that this team is ready to step up this year and really prove to us and our, ourselves that, you know, we are a championship team. And, you know, every time that we're going to step on the field, we're going to make sure that we have the opportunity to play our best lacrosse. Carly, for you, you've been a part of two championship teams. We'll start with the last question I asked Coach. How much of a sour taste did that leave in your mouth and in the locker room? Has that been a thing that's driven this team? Absolutely. Um, we look, think about that game every day before going into practice, and we learned so much from that game. Um, one of the biggest things we took away is that championships aren't won in just one day. So you're not just going to walk on the field that day and win that championship. It starts from the beginning in September when we start fall ball. And what have you seen? from this team in fall ball and now as a senior leader that makes you think that this team understands that concept that can do that? I think one of the biggest values that we cherish on this team is passion and you just see that in our players every single day. Everyone's out there working their butts off just trying to um, win the championship and just work every day to get better just to get to that game. And as a senior leader, what, is it like been, what has it been like for you to kind of be the one that people look up to now and kind of be a, a, a focal point of this team? That's definitely a little different. I mean, I, I'm a, on defense, so we only had um, juniors on defense last year, so it kind of stemmed from then and happened a lot last year too, so it wasn't that big of a jump. Um, but it's definitely different being at the top, being a senior, and um, just having a much bigger role on the team and not just being having to focus on you, but having to focus on every single person and everyone coming up to you every day and just looking um, for you. And finally, uh, you talked about the passion this team has. Is there something that uh, has driven you guys? Is there, is there something that you guys talk about as a team that kind of uh, has motivated you guys? Um, I think just getting back to that championship game and I think just really the feeling at, that we had after losing that championship game last year and not, no one ever wanting to feel that again. The Bulldogs open up their season in mid-February when they take on Stony Brook on Long Island. For the Bryant Sports Network, I'm Tristan Hobbs.